you need a multimeter you don't need a fancy one mine is a, a, a high quality one but you obviously just need a multimeter to have the the beep um, resistance sound here um, so just make sure this function is working so I'm just gonna set it somewhere here it doesn't really matter where it is um, as long as it's in the correct function so I'm gonna put this crocodile clip on this pin here um, I have um, isolated clips clips so this is obviously a um, good idea and I'm going to connect this on the oil line. So basically any ground uh, should work, but this is what the book says, so this is what I'm going to do. Now, as I said, these are just tightened by hand. So what I want to do is uh, I'm going to install this special tool. This comes in a special tool kit. And what you want to do is you want to move this wheel so imagine the wheel is somewhere here you can hear a bit of uh, air coming out of the vanos so this is this is far left so this is vanos to the far left position and the oil has been removed from the system um, so there's no oil cushion so as you can hear this is obviously i haven't moved this wheel um i lose the connection from time to time but um as long as you hear the you know the beep once you know it's your 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 here you can see i'm going to wiggle it i get connection i'll lose connection but when you put a bit of don't, don't go mad just literally a little bit of tension as you can hear this is uh this is in full left position so the vanos is to the far left so i'm just going to remove my tool Okay, so we have a signal. I'm gonna apply 15 Newton meters of torque here. That's it. So I'm happy with these for now until uh, we do the other side as well. And then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the spanner, fully tighten them and uh, actually I will remove these oil lights because I'm going to need to use the spanner in place um, in order to put uh, the correct torque on these because it's uh, quite a lot of torque on these bolts. So as I said, 110 and 125 Newton meters on this. And we're going to do the same on the other side as well. I'm just going to let you know where we are at the moment. So I have installed the blocks at the back on the camshafts. So the camshafts are locked in place. Um, you want these camshafts to be free here. Uh, you move the oil lines. Um, don't, don't don't put them in place because you're gonna need to use your 20, 27 mil spanner in order to hold these camshafts when you're putting the uh, final torque, uh, one ten and one twenty five newton meters on these here. So the chain is in place. Um, it's correctly lying on the guides, and um, I have just done it here finger tight with the chain tensioning tool that comes in the timing kit um, I'm using by the way original BMW German um, tools don't get don't ask me how I got them uh, as these are not really available for sale but they're original BMW timing tools now having said that they're absolutely identical with the Chinese kits that they sell on eBay so don't listen to what some uh, other people are telling you just uh, buy them they're about 70 80 pounds depending on where you buy them from um, and they're very good quality. They're literally almost identical apart from the coloring um, But they're very very good quality tools and they will do the job including setting the vanos as well So the blocks um, as you can see even some of the bigger youtubers they tell you not to use them But they actually use the Chinese blocks at the back of the camshafts um, So yeah, just do your own research and don't really listen to people that are trying to promote and sell um, other tools that cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars or pounds or sterling whatever you're using whatever currency you're using so yeah um, I have um, um, tightened these to 15 newton meters after I set the vanos here so we put it to the far left um, we got the signal um, and this obviously removes the oil from the vanos um, so it removes the oil cushion uh, from the vanos um, wheel here so once you hear the signal 
to the very left and tighten it put 50 newton meters and leave it like that um, and then i did the same here on uh, uh, exhaust camshaft so i'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side i'm going to let you see it how i do it now install it so fully left and same here as well okay and that's <clears throat> your vanos set then what we're gonna do we're gonna install these these tools here um, on the head with uh, the bolts that come from the timing covers and then we're gonna set um, after we put the correct torque on this here on this uh, bolt we're gonna set the actual camshaft wheels the camshaft sensor wheels Okay, so I'm actually inside the engine bay as you can see me. Uh, so I'm gonna do it this way because um, I'm right handed, so I find this uh, way a bit more comfortable and I'm gonna have a bit more strength when I'm doing it this way. So this is 110 uh, Newton meters here and 125. I have placed my spanner on the, uh, on the hex cut here on the camshaft. So place the torque wrench in place, hold this tight. And then tighten to 110 newton meters. That's 110 newton meters. So my spanner is in place. I'm gonna set this bad boy to 125. So this is the line between, as you can see here. So 120. So I'm gonna put it to 125. Now, the blocks are in place, so the blocks are holding. I'm gonna just readjust the blocks again because they moved slightly when I was um, tensioning this bolt here. So I have my spanner in place, hold it tight. I'm set at 125 Newton meters and let's torque. That's 125 Newton meters. And please, I'm saying it a few times, do not damage, uh, if you have to grind this spanner, do it. Do not damage the heads. This is um, how they show it in the, in the manual as well, in the Haynes manual, or even the BMW manual as well. So please be careful if you're not one of these super careful mechanics, just grind it off just to make sure that you don't damage the, the surface here. Um, otherwise you're gonna have to replace it and you're gonna have serious leaks if you don't do it. So this is now torque to spec. I'm gonna do the other side as well now. Okay, so I've preloaded this again to 110 Newton meters. My torque, torque, wrench, uh, my torque wrench is in place. I'm gonna hold the camshaft. The blocks are helping. The chain obviously is taking some of the pressure as well. And then you're obviously pinned in the crankshaft as well. So. That's 110. Now, 125. That's 125. This is going to be a bit more awkward here because um, my power, this is my ABS pump is in the way. So I don't want to damage uh, this in any way. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to put a piece of wood here on the body. Uh, just so I don't nick my finger, but I don't want to rest it on the sensor. Um, or actually, what I might do is I might put a pipe um, on top of the spanner and then do it this way. I think it's going to be best to protect this. So just to let you know, this is uh, this is what I come up with. This is the handle of my uh, three-ton jack. So I've just removed it. It's in two parts, and this fits perfectly on this. Uh, 
spanner so this I think it's a good solution it saves me the hassle to go outside in the rain and look for a pipe somewhere in the yard so I'm gonna hold this so again make sure you're exactly on that correct in the correct place you don't want this to split slip so That's 125 newton meters. So I'm happy with this. Now at this point, I can remove the blocks at the back of the camshaft and I can install uh, the oil lines as well. And then we will finish uh, with uh, um, this is the camshaft uh, sensor wheels here. So, so far. <clears throat> Um, we've installed everything in place, we've tightened these big bolts and now we're gonna install the, this is the camshaft sensor wheel so I'm just gonna place it here 24mm nut, reverse thread of course just leave it in place here, leave it loose and we're gonna go, come back, we're gonna put the timing toes so I'm gonna um, install it in the correct position this is of course very important because otherwise you're going to have a, an engine light, engine management light. So install this in place. Let's say we'll put it somewhere here. And tighten by just by hand. So we're ready to install the timing tools for the camshaft. Uh, sensor wheels again use bolts from the timing chain covers install this bad boy in here this is loose so you can um, insert it in the correct position so you can see this little hole here we hope you can see it clearly um, so <clears throat> basically this pin needs to go in here whilst these bolts are in place and secure this this tool in the flush flush with the head so I'm just gonna put the bolts first and then I'm gonna tighten them lightly okay my wheel is now in place Put a bit of tension on the bolts, but again, don't go completely crazy. Just a little bit, like not even 10 Newton meters. There's no need uh, for so much tension on these. So this is flush. The pin is in place. And I'm going to put 40 Newton meters on this nut here. In the same manner, I'm going to hold the camshaft in place. Although this is probably not... Uh, as important as obviously the blocks will hold it in place but just to be sure that's 40 newton meters so that's more than plenty this has been fully set i'm going to leave the two in place and i'm going to install the other side as well Again, my torque wrench is set at 40 Newton meters. Forty Newton meters. No more, no less. Okay, so you've now seen how the whole timing procedure is done. Um, I'm just gonna go over it once again. So first crankshaft lock you can't see it I'm gonna put a picture on the screen so you can see um, how this is done I have a separate video for it which I can put a link um, in the description I'm gonna put it in the in the top right corner as well 
Uh, then the camshafts, you lock the camshafts. I have a video on this as well, a separate video on just how to lock the camshafts. Again, I'm gonna again put this on the top right corner now in the video. So if you wanna refer to this specifically, you can um, watch this in full detail. And then uh, what we did, uh, we installed uh, the, the, the chain tensioning um, tool. I would call it the timing tool because it's part of the timing set and the, the chain was in place. Uh, we um, set the vanos. Um, this was uh, done with the multimeter, with the sound setting. So um, you've seen this as well. And then we finally um, torque these. I put some thread lock on these bolts here. Um, 110, 125 Newton meters on the exhaust camshafts. And then finally um, we set the camshaft sensor wheels in place um, and we torque them to spec. So everything is torqued. Um, the camshafts, by the way, have been lubricated properly. Tappets, everything has been lubricated with um, assembly oil. I use Lucas assembly oil, uh, which is this here. I can put a link in the description as well if you want to, if you want to purchase it for yourself. I buy the bigger bottle just because I do this quite a lot. Um, so it's better value this way. It's a very, very good, very good quality oil. Um, very nice and sticky. Um, so yeah, this uh, concludes the, the timing um, on the M60TU engine. Um, again, um, you can go by the book, but there really is no point um, because they show you some weird ways of... Um, uh, turning the vanos to the left and you're putting 40 newton meters which I think it's this is a quite a sensitive part so you don't really want to be putting 40 newton meters on this when there's no oil in it uh, just to remove the oil cushion so you can pretty much do it with a with a ratchet without putting more than five newton meters and um, you can pretty much turn it by hand to be honest with you so don't always go by the book I'm sure somebody will argue about this um, but um, I had previously uh, move this left right left right so I got rid of all the oil and there was very little tension needed in order for me to um, to remove the oil cushioning from this vanos now one last thing before I start removing the timing tools um, just make sure you put a cable tie um, on these two guys just to hold them in place <clears throat> because whatever you install your um, your bottom uh, timing chain cover here on the crankshaft um, and then when you end up uh, putting the the actual chain tensioner, you don't want this to drop and you don't want to skip a, a tooth here on the crankshaft sprocket. So um, I'm using one of these reusable uh, cable ties. You can just use whatever you have, even a, a bit of uh, rope or wire or whatever you want to use. Just secure this in place. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to loosen this. And then remove the tool. So you can see this is now loose and uh, the, the guide is under tension as well. Now what I did off camera after all the tightening um, I just went back with my multimeter and I checked my, uh, my uh, settings here so there was noise and there was beep on both sides. So I know I am 100% uh, timed. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. If you did enjoy this video, uh, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I have a lot of M62 and BMW content in general. Um, so yeah, if you enjoy this sort of stuff, um, stick around and um, I hope I help you out. See you soon and peace out.